I'm Jason. I'm Kirk. This is we're Metallica, and you're watching Pure Rock yeah. 100 nothing. It's TV show. There you go. <laughs> It's uh, just about over, actually. <laughs> We've been on it for about, what, eight, ten weeks now? And it's good fun. It hasn't been quite this silly every day, but it's been all right. Do we enjoy it? It's something to do in the afternoon <laughs> instead of sit at the hotel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's great. It's yeah. great. Uh, I want to ask about the new album. Any concept? Um, <laughs> a bunch of songs. Um, not really, no. The lyrics, <clears throat> I mean, in the same way that Ride the Lightning dealt a lot with different subjects around death and Master Puppets dealt with different variations on the theme of manipulation. This deals with different ideas and subjects around justice and truth and stuff like that, but it's not really a concept album at all. Please, no. And all the songs are basically based around like the judicial system and how uh, you know freedom of choice, freedom of all this. You know how really free is it? And uh, you're not uh, telling people what to think or believe in, as uh, you know, same as the other albums. Just a statement and opinion of ours. And people take it the way they want. Why don't you make? We can't afford it. No. <laughs> Just keep forgetting to. Yeah. Um, we see other bands in promotional video situations, and I think that part of the reason is we don't want to end up looking as stupid as all these other bands do, and it's just something that's like pretty unnecessary for us at this point in time. I mean, you know, we'll never say never. Maybe if the right idea comes along one day, but it's like, why go and just copy what every other band has been doing? You know, if we come up one day with an idea that's so original and seems so different for a promotional video, maybe we'll do it. But so far, you know, what's the point of just doing what every other shit band has been doing? And, you know, we don't really want to end up looking as stupid as we see all these other bands. roots. I think that nowadays we try and not, you know, obviously, you know, have too many strong direct influences. When we started out six, seven, eight years ago, we were very, I think, attitude-wise and musically influenced by what went on in Britain back in the late 70s, early 80s. The attitude to things like that were you know, bands like, you know, Iron Maiden and Motorhead and Diamond Head and so forth. But I think it was just as much attitude-wise as musical, because attitudes came across back then, which sort of brought, which was like the heavy metal version of what went on with the punk explosion in 76, 77, brought the whole thing back down to the streets, <laughs> yeah, how you doing? And so forth. Tell me about your future plan after this week, you know. Yeah, we're we're going to yeah. we're gonna drink for about the next six, eight hours, and um, then we'll probably go back to the hotel, continue drinking. we got two more shows to do on this tour, and then uh, there's no gigs in August, but we got to do some we're press. We're going to break up so after this tour, get back break to up. for the Europe yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> and we start in Europe again in early September, do Europe for 10 weeks, and then we start headlining arenas in America in uh, mid-November. Do that till we don't want to do it anymore. I think we'll come some over to Japan sometime in spring. And in case you don't know what spring means, because <laughs> she doesn't, uh, that's sometime <laughs> around March or April, usually. Go ahead. Hey, we'll be there in April. 
Is that short enough? <laughs> um, how could anyone follow that? <laughs>